My name is Birger. On this channel, I like to cook a bunch of different things, a bunch of different ways, whether it's on the grill, on the griddle, on the smoker, open fire, cast iron pans, regular skillets, you name it, we're doing it here. And I like to make it look as best as possible so that you can enjoy some good recipes, some good food, but also some great visuals as well. Today, I'm gonna show you the low carb burger recipe that we can't stop making for dinner. And this burger is to die for. So much flavor, the perfect combination of ingredients, toppings, flavorings, all that stuff. Enough of hearing me. Let's get going. I'm gonna show you how I do this. It's not a burger without classic American cheese. I like the deli kind. And we're also adding more gooeyness with Munster cheese. You're gonna want a portobello mushroom. Butter lettuce, nice crispy fresh butter lettuce. Now, if you're gonna use this as a bun and not a knife and fork kind of burger, you might wanna double up your lettuce on the top and each bottom. I'm gonna do some sauteed onions, thinly sliced, and we're gonna top it with some beautiful fresh sliced tomato. Pepper, salt, and a little Italian seasoning for the mushrooms. Okay. Now here I've got some quick pickled jalapenos. I'll put the quick pickle recipe in the description below. And for our side dish, I'm going with sauteed broccoli. This broccoli is I mean, super easy. Cover it in oil, salt and pepper, and a little garlic powder. Shake it up into your bowl, and then just set it in your skillet or griddle. Our sauce, Dijon mustard, sour cream, and Worcestershire. Creamy, tangy, delicious sauce. I'm actually not doing smash burgers because I want a bigger bite of beef with these burgers. So I'm using my handy dandy burger press. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to get one of these. It's super cheap. I've had it for a couple years now. And I mean, it's, you know, it's porcelain and stainless steel. Can't go wrong. This is one pound of beef. I like to make one baby burger. For you, go ahead and do half pound burgers. Those look pretty good. And pull a little bit more beef out for the baby burger. Plop it in there and press. Try to press evenly, it puts those nice little lines in there. And more importantly, it gives you the divot so that when you're cooking your burgers, whether you're cooking them on a grill, griddle, or whatever, they don't puff up in the middle and you get uneven cooking on the bottom. So we get our divot in there already. For this burger, this combination of this blues hog sweet and savory seasoning with the mushrooms and the burger and the rest of these fixins will blow your friggin' mind. We got our broccoli just sauteing in our pan. Now, the best part about doing broccoli this way is you build up a nice little char on the broccoli, especially on the, the treetops there. And uh, yeah, I love that flavor. We're gonna be using our made-in griddle. Seasoning. I wanna let those cook for just a minute. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. Get our mushrooms on here. A little bit of oil on top of the mushroom. Just a little bit of that Italian seasoning. I just love the combination of Italian seasoning and salt and pepper on portobello mushrooms. And now we just let those cook away. That is the flavor that I love. This keeps the broccoli like nice and crunchy, but the oil and the salt and pepper and the garlic powder, it's like really cooked in to that char. And after we get that first layer of char, turn the heat off and cover them up. Let them steam. Let's check and see what kind of crust we've built up. You don't need a smash to get a beautiful crust. I mean, that is a perfect example of the My Artifact. Now we're gonna add our onions, just kind of scatter them around that burger, burger juices. And just let them soak in all that juice from the burgers while our burgers continue to cook. Get cheese on there, got our Munster, and then it's not a real burger unless it's got American cheese. Let's get the mushrooms cook on the other side. I don't like to cook a lot on this side. Don't ask me why. I just don't like the ribs on the mushroom to get overcooked and too soft. I just like to get them nice and steamed up. Just about 30 seconds is all I like to do. You can see that the mushrooms are really starting to leave their water behind. One piece of lettuce. Two pieces of lettuce. Our shroom. And our burger. Out of the onion. Tomato. Pickled jalapenos. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a uh, knife and fork kind of burger. And our sauce. I forgot to push record, but here we are opening the burger again for you after I pushed record. The mushroom is cooked perfectly. Burger is so juicy. Let's give it a taste. Thoughts. The sweet and savory seasoning combined with the beef 
I have lettuce on my tooth, don't I? Combined with the beef and the mushroom with the Italian seasoning, it's quite a nice complimentary flavor. And then you get the acid from the mustard sauce and the pickled jalapeno and the tomato for the freshness. This is a very, very nice burger and super low carb. Well, that's it. That's my low carb burger. Let me know what you think. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Ooh, the jalapeno is spicier than I was expecting. <laughs>